this one's for all the owner operators out there, commercial drivers, licensed truckers out there. Are you thinking about leasing onto a smaller trucking company that you found off of whatever, Reddit, Facebook, wherever that may be, Instagram? You need to be extra careful. You really need to do your due diligence and really research this company to figure out, is this the right fit for you as an owner operator? I cannot tell you how many times I've seen way too many owner operators essentially get taken advantage of because they actually don't fully understand how to run a trucking business. So here's pretty much the reality. If you're leasing onto someone else's authority, so you're using their MC number, DOT number to run business, run, run loads without actually researching them, you could potentially be setting up yourself for a further failure or failure in general where you're going to have to go back from scratch and start over. I've heard of some drivers paying something like $1,000 a week uh, for a truck rental plus 25% commission on top of that without even realizing their rate per mile ended up being as low as 60 cents per mile. As an example. There was another driver that was leasing a truck for $1,600 a week and paying 20% commission. And after six months, he realized that he shelled out something like $28,000 in commissions and $43,000 in truck rental fees. And these situations happen because the drivers jump into their, this, this business plan or idea or opportunity without even understanding the financial breakdowns of starting or running a trucking company. And the risks involved is not the best. <laughs> Too many risks. So before you lease onto any company, you do need to do your research. You should look at a company's CSA scores, read the contract that you're, supposed, you're, you're about to sign in full before signing it, Understand each term and clause. If you guys need help with that, you guys can reach out to me and I can take a look through it as well, especially when it comes to fees and commissions related to this. Now, if you're not clear on these details, you're putting your business at risk. You really are. You're putting your job at risk and leasing on to someone essentially uh, who has their own authority doesn't actually guarantee success for you in the long run. Okay, you need to know how to run your own business, your own operation on your end. If you don't do this, you're going to end up working for no money or cheap rates or cheap revenue while someone else is actually making profits off of your back. And that's not exactly the most ethical way to run a business. But like I said, if you're finding these guys on Facebook or Instagram, or Reddit or wherever, just do your due diligence. Otherwise you can run into these situations. Also running a trucking business isn't just about driving. It's about understanding the numbers and making the right decisions when it comes to what loads you should take and what loads you shouldn't take. Financial liter literacy is actually crucial. Knowing how to manage your finances, budget for expenses, and also understand your profit margins can make actual big difference between success and failure in trucking if you're not sure take the time to learn about what you're committing to uh, otherwise commissions that you're making or excuse me commissions that you are giving to to the to the lease owner um, you, you're going to be an issue you're going to be in problems because it, it'll eat away at your at your profits you'll actually make a lot less money than it looks like on paper when you're first taking a look at the contract you're going to say oh this looks good. You sign off on it. And because you didn't look at the fine print, you end up getting, you know, a really bad, I want to, I want to use correct terminology, really low, really bad uh, rates. Okay. Or revenue or profits. Also, I've seen drivers who've been in this industry for over 30 years. And initially when they started, they also did make mistakes by not fully understanding the financial aspects of the trucking business. But once they took the time to learn about budgeting, managing expenses, negotiating better rates, their business turned around and they actually ended up growing their trucking business. Only then can they be successful or you can be successful in an operation with multiple trucks under your own authority. And I always emphasize the importance of financial literacy to new drivers. And it's not just about driving. 
It's also about running a business. And also, if you're trying to build a trucking company off of rentals, 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 and the whole nine yards, just rentals, 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 you might actually have to think twice about this because it'll be a very difficult path forward to success in this business. Okay. If you guys have any questions, please write it down in the comments. If you have any horror stories you want to share with the community, write it down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next video. Good luck to everybody. If you guys need any questions answered, hit me up in the descriptions email that I'll put. Thank you.